Hi guys, I'm going to walk you through splines. So you're going to um, pull up a drawing and you've already found your picture of whatever you want to copy. And then you're going to go and copy it. It can be anything that is school appropriate. And then you're going to choose paste. Look, it's the Mariner. So um, with spline, it's pretty cool. You want to choose spline fit, not spline CV, spline fit. Um, you choose that command right there. Again, that was from uh, going underneath the draw, clicking the little triangle, and going spline fit. Then you want to zoom in really close. And I want to try to choose a, a color that you guys can see. We'll try bright yellow for this. Um, with this, you literally just choose a first point. I don't want to have, you do not want uh, O snaps on. Object snapping is not good in splining. Um, so you're going to just go like this and follow the curve. I think most of you kind of have done this, but spline fit just does it for you automatically and you don't have to do as many points, which will mean that it's easier for you to manipulate your drawing. Um, you won't have AutoCAD crashing as often. Um, if you guys have had that problem, I think we had that with the basketball court. So you just keep going around and you can see how it's following. I can see, I hope you guys can see. Um, so it's following around this drawing. So then say that's the end point I want to have it be. So you can see the design there. It's pretty close. So if you scroll out and choose the picture and you move the picture over here, you can see that's the little area that I splined. And so that's how you do splining. Um, you go all the way around. You definitely um, can turn your object snapping on once you get and you want to connect the end points. And that's the best way to do that. Um, and you can do that within the spline command. Um, but yeah, that's splining. Good luck.